Hello, how's it going? Today we're going to be in this room. Used to be the workshop, the workshop's moved a little bit. Uh, behind you is the bit where all of the uh, compartment drawers and stuff were. So you may notice that this colour is very similar to another thing. Yeah, so it might be a little bit too much of this colour by the time we're finished with this room, if I'm honest. For all and cares. That's right, if you've seen my videos uh, for however long they've been going for you, you'll notice that I went on a little bit of a trail down into the obsession forest of Brawl and Cures. Uh, I started uh, kind of getting hold and collecting these things way back in 2018 or something. I, I kind of just spent um, a lot of time emailing a lot of places and seeing if there was any sitting about. But as you may know, during lockdown, I spent a lot of time setting up this museum is not obsolete. And the, the interactive nature has just not really worked with Brawl and Cures. They're too complicated, they're too unwieldy for them to be really that accessible and interactive. There are a couple labelled and set up with headphones for people to try out and give a go, but having a whole wall of these things to be able to play and use just hasn't really materialised. But we're now turning this room, which used to be the workshop, into a control room for the whole museum. And the back wall of this control room is the perfect place for setting up the Brawl and Cure test equipment setup. I went recently to Willem Tefe and we checked out the uh, test equipment studio setup. It was amazing. This one is going to be nowhere near as massive as that, but it's going to take the thinking of the patch bays, the nice setup of racks, and try and give it our own twist. Behind me, you'll notice there are some shelving racks. These are going to be the beginnings of the Brawl and Cure setup. There's some power racks here and there. First things we need to think about is the fact that if we're going to have approximately 16 or so Brawl and Cures sitting around here. We're going to need a means to mix the sounds together. Well, that's when this mixer comes into play. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a nice one. I like this one. This one is a, what is it? Studio Master 16 in, 4 out. Like that. That's going to sit about here. And I have this which I built for another project, but we're gonna use it, we're gonna modify it slightly to work with this. What this is, is a patch bay. It's got a load of dangly danglies on the back that are jack cables. We're gonna use converters to plug into the back of there. We've got 16 input jacks, which are also coupled to 16 banana jacks. They'll be of use later on. And we've got a bunch of sends, and we've got the outputs, and we've got the grounds. So we're gonna use this to wire into this bad boy. So to get to the back of the mixer, woohoo, yep. We're just going to use these XLR converters. We're just going to plonk them in. But Sam, that's not going to work. Oh, they're quite wide though. They go quite long. Oh no, I should have thought about these. These should have been 90 degree ones. It's fine. I should have used these connectors, but could have, should have, would have. Oh, look at that. It's starting to look like a battleship from Star Wars or something. Connecting points in your heart. Connecting points, where do we start? With love connections. Doopy 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 doo. Making XLRs to jacks. Oh baby, don't you know that's where it's at? Oh baby, baby. Love connecting. Love to love. Oh, what were you expecting? With this love connection, it's an affliction of love. Right, that connects right, well, oh yeah. Look at that, that's coming to, that's already coming together. We'll sort those wires a little bit later, make them look a little nicer over there, but let's get some test equipment in and see if it makes any noise. Beat frequency oscillator, let's use this one, let's use this one. Gonna take pride and place above it, right here. Oh yeah. If you look to the back of the racks at Willem Tefe, all of the oscillators, they look like they were loose at the front, but if you push them, if you look around the back, they're actually strapped to the racks, which is a really cool and neat feature. It just stops you worrying about people pulling them off and they fall in on. Because they are not, they're not light. Oh, we got a heavy one up next. It's the 1024, and this one's a valve one, so it's a heavy boy. <sighs> this one was recapped recently, so should be all right. Let's see how we get on. Hello, 
Okay, so we're going a little bit silver apples with this intercom microphone. It is plugged into the Brule and Cure Type 2603 microphone amplifier. And we can go really crappily and all in between. So this is the preamp for this. We're going to bolt this. Right here. After this, I did a splash of rearranging. Uh, as I was setting it up over time, it just became more obvious how it was needing to be set up, and let's hope it goes well. But in the process, I decided to drill a bunch of holes into the shelving racks to actually connect all of the grounds together, because classically, we would have had to wire two banana jacks into each of the Brule and Cures. And then actually connecting them all to the chassis, well, that simplifies it, because you just plug it in and you make the sound. You don't need to worry about if the earths and all of the grounds are attached together. Less wires, more happy times. And then we bolted in the intercom receiver over here, and it looks absolutely beautiful. We'll be looking at that soon. And yeah, as you can see, it's, it's starting to really come together. I shoved in an extra oscilloscope for good vibes, and then these I 3D printed. I downloaded off Thingiverse and printed them, and they're cable hangers so we're going to put them onto the wall right here above these are going to be extra setups and things like that but after that on the putting of those oh, it looks lovely and then we're going to put some electro harmonics pedals up here we're going to improve and add a lot more to this setup over a couple of videos but for now let's have a listen to the pure tones let's see what we got so we got this wired into input one let's turn it up The effect sends on the mixer are being sent through the electro harmonics pedals, so we can listen to those. So we've got a bit of reverb. Oh, 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 I think so anyway. Oh, it's coming, it's there. Oh, lovely. But we've also got a ring modulator. The great thing with the grounds all connected together is we only need to connect one wire between this and the mixer to get the sound. So it simplifies it all a little bit. So we'll just um, shove this into input two. Lovely, jubbly. Let's get them all plugged in. <laughs> Input six. Like wind sounds. That's gonna be when the wind comes in. The wind blows over the valley. We're gonna plug in. Get it going to another input. The sun comes in over the valley. Fundamentally, there's not many um, sequencing kind of capabilities. I'm building a sequencer that's gonna sit here. Uh, next week, I'll go into the filter and then that'll make it kind of reach a, a resonant point. But we're going to make it kind of beat on a bass drum. Right, we've got a kick drum there. Bring these all down a bit.
Currently, we're at a point where we're making creepy background music for a horror film, but in the next video, we're gonna be making sequences that are inspired by some of the test equipment sequences out there that are hard to get hold of. They're gonna be 19-inch uh, racks that are going over on that wall, as well as possibly, depending on the progress, whether it'll be in this next video or the video after, um, voltage-controlled amplifiers, envelope generators, LFOs possibly all in 19 inch rack form over there to expand the functionality because we haven't even used the filters at the top yet. So there's plenty more to do and in the next video we'll be doing that. Anyway, by the way, the museum has already made a test equipment sample pack. The link to that is below, but I've also cut a bunch of sounds up when I've been experimenting with this setup in particular and put them up over on Patreon. And if you wanna see the upcoming progress on the videos about the sequences and stuff, they'll be put up over on Patreon before they are put up anywhere else anyway. So yeah. That's that stuff. Anyway, until the next update on this room, I'm Luke Mom, not computer. This is the Brawling Cure setup, and remember, don't be scared to try it. Don't be